Hi you guys, welcome to this week's card class. This week I wanted to make a couple very, well two at least, very elegant looking cards and then one card that could be a perfect wintry card. So let's get started. All right, so the first card that we are going to put together today is this adorable little bird card. I really love this bird die cut. Um, what I had done, for those of you that are just joining me for the kit part of the class, is I did a die cut of um, these four birds. I used a removable glue dot to lay them onto my card base, and then I used a blending brush with walnut stain distress ink and brushed across the surface. And what you end up with is you end up with four birds that are colored brown, but they also are leaving a mask, they're acting as a mask and leaving their silhouette behind, behind the brown um, ink. So I thought that was pretty cool. So then you end up with things you can use for another card, which I thought was great. So these two the guys that are kind of looking at each other are going to be saved for another card. And this little guy, I actually which is not going to use him for this card, but you could use him for something else. Um, but this little guy, we're actually going to go ahead and just right off the bat, go ahead and glue him onto the inside of the card. All right, we'll just glue him right down, right on the inside there. Perfect. All right. Now, on the front of the card here, we're gonna go ahead and put our card together. So this mesh, gold mesh ribbon here, we're actually going to be cutting this in half lengthwise like this. So in order to get a nice consistent width all the way across, if you fold it in half and fold it in half again, and then trim it right in half like so, then you'll end up with two pieces that are, the width, it's, the width is even all the way across. Sometimes when we cut ourselves, it's hard to, figure out if you're cutting a straight line or not. So one of those pieces, top, tuck to the side because we're gonna use that on a future card. All right, so now what we have here are the rest of our pieces. So what we're gonna do first and foremost is you have two pieces that have this kind of beautiful, elegant scroll on it. This paper I thought would be perfect for anything wedding related. It's just absolutely gorgeous and really just has a, a, a feeling, I guess, of elegance, which I really, really like. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put double-sided tape on the back side of one of them. And we'll make sure it's really right up against, the, right on the edge on both this side and this side. And then you have this little tiny strip of kind of glittery gold ribbon or gold twine. You're going to stick it on the back side of one end, wrap it around, and stick it on the back side of the other end. So you end up with this. Okay, all right, so now you're gonna put more double-sided tape on the back side of that. And especially right where the gold twine is, so then that way your piece will adhere where the twine is at. And you're gonna go ahead and stick this on the top of the card. And I would say that there's maybe about an eighth of an inch of card exposed on the top there. And I'm realizing my piece is just a little bit long for my card, so since it's going to hang off the edge anyway, might as well have it hang off of the edge evenly on the left and right. So it's going to hang off the edge just a little bit. Okay. All right. So now, as you open up your card, if this is bothering me, I'm just going to trim. I'm not going to trim where the ribbon is at, but I'm going to trim around the ribbon. Just so then that way it's not sticking out because that's bothering me. That may bother you, but if I trim it all the way straight across, my ribbon will no longer be connected. So this is my way of getting around that. There we go. All right. So now we have our paper going across the top. Now for this piece of paper here, what we're gonna we're gonna adhere this in just a moment. Oh, I see what's going on here. All right, so right here, we are going to stick on our chiffon, okay? Now, I'm gonna try and tuck this just underneath my base here because I do need that actually to stick in place. Oh, bear with me, you guys. I'm just gonna pull this up just ever so slightly. Tuck this underneath here and press that down. Probably should have done that ahead of time. But we want that chiffon to cover the entire silhouette there, and we have to hold it on with some double-sided tape. So hopefully, you guys did not glue that down completely. <laughs> And you can cut, you can tuck that underneath that little, that little strip of paper there. Okay. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stick double-sided tape on the back side of this scroll piece. 
and we're gonna put I'm gonna put two strips down now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this um, kind of meshy looking ribbon and we're gonna stick this on here and there's probably gonna be about a half an inch of that ribbon exposed at the bottom Okay. all right and now I'm gonna put double-sided tape right on top of that mesh on that strip again so that way there's tape on this side of the mesh and now as I'm sticking this in place I'm actually going to be holding the chiffon ribbon in place as well so the mesh is going to go all the way to the bottom of the card and as we stick this on here it's going to stick to that chiffon ribbon now you will notice that it's not adhered quite yet because that chiffon ribbon stuck to the double-sided tape so now I'm just going to eyeball where um, this uh, strip is laying so that way it can lay a just a little line of double-sided tape right beneath that. Okay, now as we lay this down, it's going to stick in place. Okay, now nothing is falling off. All right, to finish this off, we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna trim off the excess ribbon that's sticking off of the edge of the card here. And same with along the bottom, any of that little meshy ribbon that might be hanging off of the edge, you can trim that off. And on the far right, so the far side as well, again, trimming off any excess ribbon or a little bit of paper that might be sticking out. Okay, all right. And there we have card number one. Isn't that beautiful? I thought that was just a fun, really beautiful, a very elegant looking card that you can use for a variety of different things. You could have a little bit of sympathy sentiment inside, thinking of you, just a little note will be perfect. Um, or if you wanted to, you could um, take, even though we're using these little birds for a future card, you can even stick one of the little birds on top of the um, silhouettes just offset just slightly and can make a really beautiful little scene. So there are some fun ideas for taking this card to a different in a different direction if you need to. Or it could be a nice Christmas card. I mean, why not? All right, that's card number one. On to the next one.